He's a senior. Heavyweights. 220 pounders. Oh, excuse me, 220. Yeah, I wrote him down wrong to start with. Could have scratched that one out, too. We also have uh, Davis of Sedgwick County coming up. Elliot and Marino. We'll take on Fennel of Rocky Ford. Fennel, one loss on the season, 38 and 1, and there's a takedown for Fennel already. Davis will be next available on map three. Stand up attempt by Trace Elliott. They go out of bounds. Two A moving a little bit faster, I think, to the three A side. Up on deck, we're going to have Levi Davis of Sedgwick County Fleming. A senior, 37 and 2 on the year. His opponent will be Adrian Saraceris. He's a senior, 33 and 4 on the season. Trace Elliott down, score 2 to nothing. Fiddle did a little spiral ride right on him. Right like 10 foot circle on the blue mat. Really trying to stand up. Finn will try to crank a hammer lock back there on that left arm. Cranks it way up high and Elliot gives him an evil stare and chases him off the mat. That didn't look like a good hold to me, but they didn't call it potentially dangerous or illegal. Had that arm way out there and out of shape, but Elliot will get the escape out of it. Oh, little spin move by Fiddle. And he's going to come up with a takedown right at the far edge. He was just standing right in front of uh, Elliot and did a pirouette and tried to shoot in. Elliot blocked that. Then they move across the mat, and Fiddle will get his second takedown to go up <coughs> four to one. Also, have a couple of Fort Morgan wrestlers coming up at 195 pounds. Alex Mai, 38 and four junior. We'll be taking on Demetrius Miller from Centennial. He's a 15 and 2 senior. And then at 220 pounds, Toby McBride for the Fort Morgan Mustangs, 32 and 1. We'll take on Zach Gerard from CM. Fiddle Rocky Ford. Working from the top as we start the second period. Where would CM be from? Um, On the 4A side. 4A Cheyenne Mountain, I think. Okay. We got a stalling warning going against uh, Trace Elliott. Spindle's got a tight waist lock around him. And try to crank out a hammer lock again. Trish fights that off. And Trish talking to the talking to the wrestlers. And he fiddles out with a headlock. Trish only trying to grab an ankle. Here comes that headlock and gets thrown to his back. Of that grapevine, there's a two point near fall waved off. Just kind of gives up on that hold. That'll make it uh, six to one for Fennel from Rocky Ford. And there's that hammerlock going back again. That's an illegal hold. And why he's calling it a potentially dangerous, I don't know. That was definitely got that hammerlock away from the back, and that's an illegal hold. Not a, it is potentially dangerous, of course. That's why it's illegal. But they should have called a point on that. So they get back underway. Class four at number five. Senior at 25 and four. Talk to Ford wrestler 38 and one. 
And he tries that headlock again. It didn't work. Chris Elliott gets back to his base and we'll head to the third period. Six to one for uh, Fennel from Rocky Ford over Trace Elliott from Marino. Trace working from the top. Quick stand up by Fennel. Just stood up, spun around. It was a quick move. Moving like a 120 pounder instead of a 220 pounder. She's on her feet. Fennel now up seven to one over Trace Elliott. There's a double leg tackle, lifts Elliott up, dumps him down, has him on his back, picking up back points. Kind of a bear hug. Trace Elliott's trying to roll through and get these base, but he's going to give up back points and the take, takedown. Be 12 to 1 for uh, Fiddle. Trace tries a little, little look like he was trying to roll rookie roll. He rolls through it, comes up and faces Fiddle. And we're going to get, I think, a back point and an escape out of that, make it 14 to 2. They'll be out of bounds again. A restart on their feet. 50 seconds and counting. Wrestling on Matt Ford, Class 4A, match number three. Rodriguez of Brush will be up shortly over on Matt 8 at 195 pounds. Shot in there by Phil. Trace Elliott trying to throw. He's going to get, oh, can't quite get the takedown. And, Jumping up, spinning around behind is Nate Fennel. You better hang on to him. He's too quick. Don't make your moves in slow motion with him. Well, Matt number eight, Seeger Oliver, is losing to Nate Lowe from Salida. Nate Lowe beat Rosenbrock three to one in the quarterfinals. Seeger Oliver ranked number one by Tim Yountain on the map. And Oliver's hurt at the moment. Fiddle's going to win the match 16-2 in major decision. 